By now, I'm sure everyone is aware that there is an official Michael Jackson biopic coming called Michael, and I'm sure everybody has opinions on what they want to see in that movie. So today, I'm going to share the top five things I want to see in the Michael Jackson biopic coming right up. Hey, it's Ross from the Infectious Groove podcast and here on the Infectious Groove music YouTube channel. Uh, we've done a lot of content on Michael Jackson over the years, both on the Infectious Groove podcast and here on the YouTube channel. Most of the time it is focused directly on his music, but with the news of the biopic coming, uh, biopics can be a very, very tricky thing. Uh, they often take a lot of liberties with the, the subject at hand and move things around in dates and history and whatnot. Um, but there are some that are unique, like Elvis Presley, the biopic that was done for him. He had such a huge career and so many different facets of it that it's very hard to cover that type of thing in uh, the allotted time for a motion picture. With Michael Jackson, I think it's a, as daunting or more daunting of a task. So given that the movie is probably going to have a two and a half hour runtime, what do you cover? What don't you? So here I go. I'm going to count these down from number five all the way to number one of the things I think it would be uh, it would be best served if the movie had in it. Uh, number one, honestly, I would like them to cover everything from childbirth up to thriller in some sort of montage, like even in the opening, uh, some uh, lettering on the screen, or again, some sort of montage showing his childhood. Um, I am not saying that what happened to Michael Jackson as a child is not important at all. Uh, but what I am saying is, for me, it's almost like a uh, Bruce Wayne or Peter Parker type thing. Like every time we have a Batman or a Spider-Man movie, we got to hear about uh, Bruce's parents again, or uh, Uncle Ben. And I just feel like the awful childhood that Michael Jackson had is common knowledge enough to where it doesn't need to be uh, pointed out in the movie and take up runtime. Uh, Thriller is really the thing that catapulted him into a different stratosphere and caused the rest of his life to go the way it is. So that's why I'd rather them kind of start there and go forward. Um, the next thing that I would think would be very important to focus on is uh, maybe not the Pepsi accident itself, but the fallout from the Pepsi accident. And I think this is something that would have to take uh, time over the rest of the film to show. Uh, but uh, the psychological impact that it had on him, um, the dependence that he uh, would come to know on painkillers because of it, uh, I think it's a seminal point in his career that at the time when it happened was enormous, but I don't think anybody puts like any sort of thought now into why things ended up the way they did and how they're linked back to that accident. Another thing that I would love to see, and again, this is something I think they'd have to show through the entirety of the picture. Like, I don't think this is like a, a stopping point to show, but I would love to see some sort of glimpse into what the rest of us can't imagine, which is what it would have been like to be the most famous person on planet Earth uh, at any given moment over the course of a couple of decades. And during that, having uh, to deal with things like autoimmune diseases uh, between lupus and vitiligo, um, I would like for them to touch on those things that the general public probably doesn't know and show how hard all of that must have been to balance. Uh, the fourth thing and the fifth thing, they kind of tie in together, but I'll stop off on the fourth thing. Uh, this is probably the most controversial part of what people are waiting for with this movie. Uh, me personally, I would love it if they would address head on uh, the two failed extortion attempts that happened on Michael Jackson while he was alive. Um, I don't really think there's any reason to uh, address the third farce that came about since he passed away uh, because it's, it's been so easily disproven. Uh, but there's a lot that people don't know about the two extortion attempts that occurred on him while he was alive. And I think in 10 or 15 minutes of runtime for a movie, they can uh, kind of fine tune some points that the general public just for whatever reason never wants to Google on their own or, or take a look into. Um, so I think that's good. I think that needs to be 
in the movie uh, and, and make some quick points that most people don't know. Uh, the last thing that I want shown, and I think this would be more of the later half of the film, is I would love it if they would humanize the guy more and show how this guy, in the face of impossible odds, as I mentioned earlier, uh, becoming the most famous person in the world, uh, having that awful childhood, dealing with two autoimmune diseases, uh, being accused and, and failed extortion attempts of the worst thing a human being can be accused of, uh, but he pushed on. He kept doing what he wanted to do. He kept delivering the same messages after those things all happened to him. He was still talking about heal the world and, uh, you know, gone too soon and smile and really trying to continue what he set out to do in the first place uh, through the power of music. So I know this is a huge topic. I know that there's so much, so many people want covered in this movie. But uh, my ask of everybody for the comment section on this video is really think about it. And if you only had two and a half hours to show as much of what you could about uh, Michael Jackson to the world, you know, what are your five things or what's the one thing that you want shown in the movie? Uh, so please, by all means, drop a like on the video, uh, share it with other uh, fans or music fans or Michael Jackson fans. And uh, please, please, please make sure to drop a comment. Let me know what you think of my choices of what I want to see in the movie and let me know what you want to see. As we always say, thank you so much for watching.